Here we are at the end of our harvest season this year, usually mid-July through the end of August is when we're harvesting the varietals here at the estate. The way we do our harvest is by utilizing a huge number of volunteers. They're the ones who get up on mornings without very much warning to come in and help us harvest a Sangiovese or a Pinot Grigio block. Here on the property, it's very easy to drive in and see who we are and what we do. It's easy to take a walk through the vineyards to reassure yourself that we actually do grow grapes here. There's a bistro, the food is incredible, better than one would expect to find here at the end of the road. We have a tasting room so you can sample the wines and hang out outside with a bottle of wine or a cheese plate as well. Well, the beginning of the estate was probably what one would call accidental. Rick and I had never planned on being involved in the wine business. We decided it would make sense for us to plant vines on this 80-acre property. As near as we can tell from the history of this uh, property, it's always been an agricultural piece of property which in this part of the hill country is very unusual because there's not a lot of really till, good tillable land. So what we have now is actually a really nice uh, uh, sandy loam soil, uh, which is well drained, suited, well suited for grapes. And so we, uh, we bought it in 96, I guess, and uh, decided we are gonna put a vineyard on it. It used to be a cattle ranch. We didn't wanna be cowboys and cowgirls, and so here we are. <laughs> I uh, started at Chateau St. Michel, ran their QA lab and eventually fell in love with just the smell of a barrel room. Eventually I decided I wanted to live someplace other than Washington. Uh, we are typically uh, Italian varietals. We have Sangiovese. We have actually two different blocks of Montepulciano, two different blocks of Syrah. And then on the white side, we have Pinot Grigio, Pinot Blanc and Muscat Blanc. And the Super Texan is the wine that made us famous. That, that one there is, is the, the one that uh, kind of shocked the wine world when we took double gold in a big competition in California. It, it is important to come to the tasting room because there's a lot of small lot uh, wines that we do where it's less than 100 cases. Some things that, that are never gonna end up going beyond the doors here. It was several years, probably three to four years. I was sous chef at the Bay Brewery, which is a, a restaurant, a fine dining brew pub on Galveston Bay. Then I went to Tony's at, in Houston, um, then uh, several hotels, and I worked at uh, ADV's downtown, then a small stint at uh, Thistle Cafe, and then I got my first executive chef job at Vin Bistro on Kirby Lane in Austin. A friend of mine came to a wine dinner and they talked to the winemaker and he was doing the food and the wine and um, they said, he said, well, we need a chef and I needed a job, so it was a perfect match. When somebody walks up from the taste room on the limestone steps, what they're going to experience is the, the smell of the oak burning oven. They always ask me, what are you smoking up there? I was like, we're not smoking anything. It's, a, it's our oak oven for um, mainly we do pizzas and roasted vegetables and they're like, oh my God, it smells so good. Everybody gets really excited about what is that? At the Bistro at Flat Creek, we're lucky to be able to serve a very wide array of foods. But the real star of the show is the courses menu. It's stuff like pan-seared tenderloin on top of uh, beet risotto. We have uh, our red wine chocolate cake with uh, it's a Moscato raspberry gelée and whipped cream. And the people that come in for this dinner are looking for the paired wine experience because you can have a great dish, you can have a great wine, but a great dish that works together with the wine makes all the difference. The thinking behind the end of Tech of getting started over here in Marble Falls was uh, so we could definitely make our uh, brand more known. Uh, and also be closer to the Texas Wine Trail. It's a shorter ride for the buses and everything because where the estate is located at in the vineyard is uh, about 23 miles out east of town. Every week at the Inateco we host uh, the Rustic Wine Dinners. Um, they start at 7 o'clock sharp and uh, it comes with, it begins with the flights and bites which is just some little hors d'oeuvres with three paired wines. Um, then we uh, go into a, a nice little uh, appetizer and entree and then a dessert. You get your choice of a glass of the three wines from the flight. You get your choice of a glass for your entree for dinner. 
But when you come in the door, we want you to just feel welcome. We don't want you to feel like um, you have to know everything about wine or anything because we are more than happy to guide you along uh, on your decisions to choosing the right wine. And uh, um, we also have just a wonderful staff who's uh, very excited and passionate about the food that they put out in the kitchen. Um, and just uh, the main thing that sets us apart at Flat Creek Estate and also here at the Inateca um, is the people. Um, we're definitely here for our customers first and foremost. We really lucked out. This has been a great uh, endeavor. Lots of other folks here, a lot of fun, a lot of laughter. The food was outstanding. And we'll go home and tell everyone about this. This was, a, this was just a great experience that we sort of, like Kevin said, lucked into. So, um, yeah, I'm so glad we were able to make a reservation and come today. Working at Flat Creek Estate has been an amazing experience. Uh, there's a little bit of everything in, in this job. Um, there's working with people and guests, so the, kind of the retail setting, uh, which has been my background, but also um, getting out in the field during harvest and seeing the agricultural aspect of the business. Um, the restaurant setting has been a new learning experience for me. Uh, it's been exciting. Uh, to learn new things about food and wine. We've been fortunate to be featured in a lot of um, articles and publicity. We were featured in uh, Food and Wine Magazine, one of the top 50 most amazing places to taste wine in America. But recently we've been featured by Wine Enthusiast Magazine. Uh, the Hill Country, Texas Hill Country, was featured as one of the top 10 uh, destinations in the world for wine. And Flat Creek Estate Syrah was mentioned in the article specifically. The employees that we have that come work here at Flat Creek Estate, uh, it really is like being part of the family. Um, I even get to bring my dog to work, which is really, really nice. Um, everybody kind of lends a helping hand. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's wine tasting in a local HEB or at a festival or um, helping out in the field. Uh, we're all willing to lend a helping hand during harvest, uh, during festival season, it's not unusual to see our winemaker or our owners or even myself out um, pouring wine at the festivals. We're very much a part of the wine that we produce here. What can you say after 45 years? I guess it's been a pretty good, uh, pretty good partnership. Uh, we actually met in college and uh, uh, when I decided to follow my career in the construction, Madeline reluctantly followed me for about 26 years. Um, but yeah, I gotta tell you, without her, the wheels fall off of this train real quick. You really do need to come. This is where you'll understand who we are, what we do. You'll be able to spend time. You can spend the day if you want to. We have lovely food, great wine, and a relaxing ambiance for you here. It doesn't matter if it's winter when it's calm and quiet or the heart of summer season when we're harvesting or in the spring at the first bud break. I think you'll enjoy your stay.